It's quite extraordinary, really. It is. Every single garage you get to, you're just like... <laughs> of Kid in a Sweet Shop. Today, I'm at the supercar driver secret meet, and we're at Donington, which secret, secret meet. Um, but I have spotted here United Autosport. That means one thing, Zach Brown might be around. Let's go and have a look. Zach! How are you? How are you? I'm good, yourself? Mm, I'm really good, wow. Some These toys. are the toy. I haven't seen this one before. This is a new toy, that's why. Is I got it for my birthday. I didn't get it for my birthday. <laughs> okay, tell me more. Uh, this is a Decon Monza. Yes. It was raced and won in uh, the Australian Touring Car Championship by Alan Moffat. Yeah. I think this was a livery they ran in July. Yes. Which is hence the. Happy birthday. This particular yes. livery. And uh, I've never driven it. This is my first You've time. You've never driven I've never, it? I've never driven it. So uh, hopefully I fit in it. Because we're at the secret meet. We are. And we've managed, you've managed to get a day or two off in your very, very Just busy one. schedule. Just one. Just, Just one. one to, to take these babies out. Okay, so when did you get her? I got that from Australia. From Australia? About, about six months ago. Is she, so she's Aussie? Yep. She Let me is. have a look. So I think he was Canadian. I, I'm not mistaken, but I've never driven it, oh, so we'll see. Absolutely but mint. It looks inside. mint. It looks pretty basic, um, but I yeah. think it's fast. She got a lot of horsepower. Okay. So what is the gearbox? Uh, I, you know what? I haven't even looked yet. I presume I it's a five-speed. So the first time you're literally just. I'll, fi I'll figure it out when I start shifting. Out on the track. Amazing. It's a really successful car. Super successful car. I'm not sure it's the prettiest car I've got in the collection. No. Um, I but very successful. Like it. I, I think it's going like to sound it. good, especially with that exhaust. You, you think so? Yeah, it's going to be loud. I'm not going to be standing here. I hope it's an open, uh, decibel day. Yes, it is a very much open decibel day. And I bet day. that gets hot, too. I love this. Okay, so this is the new one to the collection. The new toy. This one I've had a the, while. The Williams, yeah. The Williams. Yes. Uh, I drove this at the British Grand Prix at the weekend. Um, really? So that's fun. Uh, how, did, how was it around the track? Awesome. Was it? Awesome, awesome. So this one, this had actually won the British Grand Prix in 1980. Uh, and France and Spain, I know it won three races. I think those were the three. So this is the Alan Jones one? Yep. And what was it like to drive? Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. It's a, it's a lot tricky. of, it's tricky, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, handful. I hope these are a little bit, that, that's gentle. Is it? Yeah, so we just had the engine redone on that. That, that will win the contest for the coolest sounding car. Is it? Today, the, oh the, the upshifts and downshifts have so a chirp to, to it. If I know that it's hard. Oh, look, feel how warm they are. They're warm, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so, which one are you looking forward to driving the most? I, I think the Audi. Yeah, this the is one of my. It's you know four wheel drive. It's so fast. Um, and it sounds. It just sounds awesome. awesome. <laughs> um, and it revs quick. It's an inline five turbo. Right. I, this car is just a ton of fun to drive. I've only driven it once. Yes. And we've had the engine rebuilt in it to get a spare engine. So yeah. this might be one of my favorite cars to drive. Really? Yeah. And when did you get your hands on this I've one? I've had this one a few years. Yeah. So I, I've raced it at uh, Laguna Seca. Oh, you and did? the Monterey uh, Historic. So nice. I've, I've had a little bit of seat time in this one. OK. And uh, you said, what did you just have redone in it? They, they Just the engine rebuilt. A oh, full rebuild. A full rebuild. So we'll see how much more power it has. Gosh, I can't actually believe cool. how fat it is. Yeah. And how this wide one it won is. the uh, Trans Am Championship in 1988 with uh, Hurley Haywood. With Hurley. He won a couple races in the car. Look at and that. And then it's then it got banned a year or two later because it Why? being four wheel drive. Oh, of course. It's quick through the corners. I bet. I quick mean, through the corners. I just I don't look at it. It's just an utter animal. Yeah. And when was the last time you drove it? Two years ago. Okay, so this so is going to be really exciting. This one. Yeah, yeah, this car is cool. And what time are you out in it? Uh, this one, we're going to go out in first, I think in about 15 minutes. Okay, gosh. Then that shortly thereafter, and then this is in the uh, afternoon, because I think there's only two classes for, this one. for these cars. Okay. And that'll have three sessions today, so I'll be sufficiently tired on the ride home. Yeah, I bet you will. So tell me, you just, so you took the Williams round yep. Silverstone. Yep. How was Silverstone? It was awesome. I have to say, it was one of the best it was packed. races I've ever, ever it, seen. It was packed. It was an unbelievable Formula One race. On best ever. Yeah, it was awesome. I, I think mean, we got the cars right this year, they're very, 
yes. raceable. Yeah, very the raceable. accident, the start, glad he was okay. Thank God for the that halo. That was pretty, I mean. I think we all, we yeah. all now see the value of the halo. I was so that about was, to say, halo. And then the way he went over the fence, trapped in that area. I'm, I get claustrophobic. I wouldn't want to be trapped there. He was very he was, he was cool, calm, and collected, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, scary. Yeah, it was, and just what a what an opener. But I, do, I keep on saying, I think that was just the best race I think I've ever yeah. seen in, in years and years and years of Formula yeah. One. Yeah. And so you're happy, team all right? Yep, all good, all yeah. good, all good. Looking forward to Austria? Yeah, I go on Friday after a board meeting. Okay, so what do you think you'll, you'll do there? Good? Like, like I think we'll be Silverstone-ish. We're, we're, we're nice. pretty good on smooth, fast circuits, which that is. So. Yeah, yeah. Lando's, Lando's Lando, shining. Lando had a strong race. We, we, we let him down on the uh, the final pit stop. Yeah. We, uh, we called him in too late, so Alonso jumped us in the pits. Uh, yeah. that, was, that was our fault, but we'll learn from that. Um, Daniel, Daniel struggled, so yeah. hopefully uh, we'll hopefully have two cars a little bit more successful this upcoming weekend. It's getting tight with Renault for it the get, It's getting the really tight. Yeah. It's a very, very interesting season. Yeah, and, normally, and great to see Carlos win. Yeah, He's still family. Yeah. 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 It is very, very interesting, and I can't wait to see how you guys uh, fathom for the rest of the season. Yeah. But to today, today is, today way is more your day. <laughs> um, so you get to go out in these beauties. Um, but thank you very much for walking My pleasure. Around. It's a pretty cool day. It's an amazing. I, no I mean, I'm just, cool I just, I don't be. know where to look. Yeah, everywhere. Like, anywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. We'll have the best day. It'll be good. I will be waving. I'll be walking for you. As you're going down the pit straight. Um, but anyway, lovely to see you. You too. You better saddle up. We'll see you later. You're going to be time, going out time soon. To, time to get ready. All right, have fun. You are driving uh, in... The and Porsche GT2 RS with uh, nice. the guy from DTO. They've got a good lineup of cars here. Got they the really I'm do. driving a, the McLaren as well at some point. Are you? Just taking some people so out gonna, to scare gonna them. They're going to use you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So what do you think? We've got Zach behind. We've got Adrian Newey, you know, obviously being F1. It's yeah. quite lovely to see them kind of yeah. not doing their usual roles. Yeah, but they're super fans. I mean, this Zach is the world's biggest super fan, I know. apart from me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but his back balance is better than mine, so he's got yeah, better exactly. toys. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, he does. Uh, it's, just, it's just a cool day. I, I didn't know really what I was in for when I walked in. Yeah. And then I saw this in, the most incredible lineup of Ferraris by the front gate. It blew me away. And, yeah. you know, Henry Pierman's here with some fantastic toys as well. I know. Group C cars. It's quite extraordinary, really. It is. Every single garage you get to, you're just like, no, really? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, I mean, you... you... And this is that's amazing. This, this is why, you know, uh, when we talk about the future, the way everyone's going with electric cars and things. Yeah. I think for, for motor racing, this is why ICE cars are so important because the sound is such a part of the the fan experience. It moves you inside. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you can hear something coming down the track before you yeah. can even see it, yeah. it gives you goosebumps. Absolutely. And uh, coming to days like this yeah. just reminds you of that. I think.